these are the first knowledge cards. They're the nomenclature cards. And I have quite a few here. Um, it is best to maybe have no more than 10 or 15 to each pack. That way it becomes accessible to the child. The child can be successful in completing the work. If I were to have put all of these together, that then invites the child to dump onto the floor or the table and have to sort out themselves. And we want to organize the work on the shelf and organize the work in the boxes so that we are helping the child to organize their mind. The less that they need to to do the the groundwork we do the groundwork which is the organizing of the work then when they are able to pick one pack of no more than 10 the rest is up to them and I also make sure that I have each pack in a rubber band this is very very important to help teach the child that my work is in a rubber band that when I'm finished, it goes back into the rubber band and back into the box. And this way, you eliminate confusion and chaos in the work. So, the first knowledge, these are nomenclature cards that the child reads at their level and then finds the picture that goes with it. So a good way to do this is to lay out the picture first. Lay out the labels. This is as important to teach the child this sense of order as it is to facilitate the learning of these animals. Now I can read the card and match it to the different animal. And then I find the name. Now, the child will finish the work, and then the child has a choice. They can do further research about the animal, or that they can go on to do another work. If they choose, they can continue to do another pack. However, this needs to be put away. In a rubber band. before the child can use another one. Now when the child is finished with this, here the child is learning about the animal. They're also learning the reading. This is important for reading. So a ch you don't have to do direct instructional reading with the children if you have lots of Montessori materials that embodies the language.